Right, for most people who try to lose weight, the incentive is simply to look younger, slimmer and healthier. But there's a story in the papers today about Mrs Virginia Roberts of Birmingham, who's just been offered a much more tangible reward. Her husband has promised to give her a Mercedes sports car, a fur coat and a £1,000 wardrobe if she gets down to the nine stone seven pounds she weighed on her wedding night. And that means losing five whole stones. Well, Mrs Roberts, if you need some help losing all that weight, keep watching because Miss Diana Dawes is with us again to show how easy it is to diet with Diana. Well, how are you, Nick? <laughs> well, not too bad, really. Good. What about you? That's I'm, more important. I'm fighting fit. Mm. Uh, no temptations this week. Good. Uh, no food and wine exhibitions, no uh, birthday dinners and mm. things like that. So you've but been a good girl. I have been very good, uh, but it's interesting. Uh, yesterday, I went out for lunch with a friend, mm. and when you're on this diet, you s sort of stop and you, you look in at yourself as though you're looking in at a mirror. Yeah. And I suddenly realized just how much I would have eaten if I had been acting normally. Mm -hmm. uh, fantastic, really. I, I didn't. I was very good. I stayed absolutely on the calorie count diet. Uh, but it's, it's an amazing thing because normally I would have eaten so much yeah. and come out of that restaurant saying, oh, well, yes, we just had a light summer lunch and, you know, and really and it believed was a feast, it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what have you got for us here then? Oh, we've got all sorts of goodies. Uh, first of all, we have breakfast, yes. as you can see over here, which is uh, cornflakes and sliced banana. Yeah, I could quite take to that. That's a little nice. jug of skim milk, of skim course, milk. which is four ounces of skimmed milk. Yeah, you've got some more skim milk here, have you? Is that the same thing? Yes. Well, now, I was going to mention that in a minute, that yeah. you are allowed uh, on this Excel diet, you're allowed a half a pint of mm -hmm. skim milk per day. I see. And that amounts to 100 calories. Well, is that for teas but and coffees? But this is things? extra. That's Your four just, ounce uh, of skim milk with this particular breakfast yes. uh, doesn't count in, in here. And this right. breakfast, as is, uh, is 200 calories. Good o. Which is a pretty good start to the day. Yes. No, it's quite tempting, that. And now we have lunch, which is a chive dip platter. And as you can see, it's chives. Uh, in cottage in cheese. There, isn't well, there's well, there's cottage cheese and yogurt inside, yeah. and it's sprinkled with chives. If you don't like chives, as I know some people don't, you can always put parsley or onions or peppers or whatever makes it look pretty and interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, it's surrounded, as you can see, by carrots, uh, peppers, peppers radishes, cucumber, celery, and red peppers. And that all together is 150 calories. Oh, good. It looks very bright and sort of happy, doesn't it? Yes, it's, it's great Tempting. actually to diet on I in the summertime because these are the sort of things you can sort of dip into all day. Yeah, you don't sort of thing you'd want actually. Down something. You wouldn't it. fancy something big like steak and kidney pie, would well, you? Well, not no, not in the middle of the day. <laughs> I, I might, but I mean, you know, so normal people. Not anymore. Just, but this, so you see, you can be dipping in that all during the lunch hour and into three or four o'clock in the afternoon, okay. depending on how you right. want to go. And dinner? That, of course, chili con carne. Oh, one of my favourites. Uh, 400 calories altogether. It's very high in fibre, though. Yeah. I have to say in its defence, very high in fibre. <laughs> and over here, of course, the raspberry cheesecake. With, with what kiwi fruit is that on top? Yes, and that's 195 calories. Mm -hmm. uh, raspberries, yoghurt, cottage cheese, gelatin, and there's no biscuit base. And of course, that's for four. So, in other words, your 195 calories is your portion. Right. Of course, if you're like me, you might eat the whole cheese cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks very nice. Well, look, I, I bet it's encouraging to everyone who's darting along with Diana that they don't have to give up delicious things like cheesecake. But now we're going to look at the dish that Diana's cooked this week, not the cheesecake, but in fact, uh, at home, she's cooking the chili con carne. Well, here we are again with our treat of the week, and this time it's chili con carne. Later on, I shall be giving you the measurements, but now I'm going to show you, first of all, the ingredients. First of all, the carne, which in other words is the meat. And you place this in a saucepan and you don't need to put any fat or any kind of, any kind of cooking ingredient into the saucepan. You just place the meat into the saucepan and it cooks itself for, until it's brown. Uh, hence the expression cooking or stewing in your own juice because it, it literally does, it, it, it cooks itself. Having done that, you then take your onion and your diced green peppers, canned tomatoes, tomato puree, and a little tomato juice, either from a can or from the juice in the canned tomatoes. Your other ingredients, of course, are vinegar, salt, pepper, 
and very important, the chili. You place all of these things in your saucepan with the meat and cook for 15 minutes. When you've done that, you then take some delicious kidney beans, add them to it and cook for another five minutes. After which time you have an absolutely super delicious chili con carne. But it just so happens I've got one bubbling away over there on the stove. So come with me. Mmm, smells good. Now, instead of the traditional cracker, we have a bran crisp bread. And I'm going to taste it now and see what the result is. It's quite hot. Mmm, absolutely delicious. Now, if you're interested, I'll give you the ingredients. So it's three ounces of lean minced beef, one small onion and half a green pepper, both chopped, four ounces of canned tomatoes with juice, five tablespoons of tomato juice, salt and pepper, half or one teaspoon of chili powder, depending on how strong you want it, three quarters of a teaspoon vinegar, two teaspoons tomato puree, three ounces cooked red kidney beans, and two bran crisp crisp breads to eat with it. Cook the mince over a gentle heat until lightly browned. Add the onion and pepper and cook for five minutes. Then add the tomatoes, tomato juice, chili powder, vinegar, and tomato puree. Mix well, cover and simmer for about 20 minutes. Mix in the kidney beans and cook for a further five minutes. And that's all, just 400 calories per serving. And that recipe, in fact, is in the Daily Star today if you want to check it out again. Well, it certainly looks uh, delicious, Diana, and very it easy to make. It certainly was. It mm. is easy, easy to make. You know, one uh, woman columnist this week had a bit of a spiteful dig at me, and she said, uh, you know, who's got the time, especially with large families, to do all this chopping? It's you know, it doesn't take that much time, and if you do it methodically, as I suggested and the on night the before, first perhaps. One, the night before, or on a Monday morning, or when you've got the time, yeah. to put each dish in the fridge, you can do it. You know. Okay, Well, right. here's somebody who's done it. Yes, I was going to say, <laughs> joining us in the studio today, we have the uh, Reverend John Joseph from Surrey. He's the first of the Doors Dozen, the 12 people we've chosen from the thousands who are dieting with Diana, who we'll be featuring over the next few weeks. Well, last week we had our grand weigh-in of the Doors Dozen and the Reverend Joseph notched up 13 stone 9 pounds. After the weigh-in, he told us then why he had a weight problem. Well, being a minister, I have to go visiting members of the congregation. And when I go visiting, uh, people offer me a cup of tea and a piece of cake. I find it very difficult to refuse, especially the cake. And I like sweets and puddings and the rest of it. Um, living in a townhouse, as I do, I have to go up two flights of stairs. By the time I get to the top these days, I'm doing that. So I want to try and get down to about 12 stone and feel a bit more fit. Good morning to you, John. Good morning, Nick. Have you had a good, good big breakfast before you came in? No, I have not. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can say yes or no. It's not the yes or no. No. Until <laughs> no, I have not had a big breakfast. Good, good. Now, uh, do you find it very tempting, food as a whole? I mean, do you yes. find it difficult to keep yes. off it? Anything sweet, anything puddings, fresh cream cakes, the pudding trolley in a restaurant, I could have my whole meal from that trolley and not bother with starters or main course. Mm -hmm. So it is difficult for me. Yes. I, I have see. a friend like that. She literally sort of rubs her knees together when the mm. sweet trolley comes mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you get very tempted around uh, the parish, don't you? Yes, yes. Well, you see, going visiting, um, the usually the lady of the house will say, I've just baked a cake. You will have some, won't you? And I find it very difficult to say no. Yeah. yeah. But I have this week said no. Right. Well, let's uh, go on to the crucial moment now when we lad. find uh, find out what's happened you on the old scale. You this, by the okay? way, last night, didn't you? I come had on, that from eating me last night. Right. Yeah. Come, come around for the moment of truth. Right, the moment of truth. Oh, uh -huh. my God. 
This is when we prove all those jokes about the bishop and the actress are completely true. <laughs> <laughs> right, I was 13 eight. Yes, last I was week. going to check. I've got it written down you here. Usually so don't say trust it like you an inch, you know. You 13 stone it. eight. Yes, that's right, you will. Hey. Oh, Dana, that's pretty good, isn't it? I've lost you, four pounds. Are you pleased with that? That's yes. That's terrific, isn't it? Because you're aiming for two or three, really. Only right? two, two a week, yes. Yeah. It must be all the hot weather. Well done. Right. Mm. Bring on the Reverend, trumpets. Reverend, it's your turn. Here it goes. Don't be frightened. And you were. I've got you down here. 13 nine. Seven pounds you've lost. That's well, amazing. Yes, that's quite good, isn't it? It's not bad at all. <laughs> well, it's great. If you like me the first, first week, week it's, the, um, mm. it's that uh, <laughs> metabolic rate going yeah, over time yeah. and everybody that's getting... So you'll, you'll calm down. You'll, mm. you'll get to two yes, pounds a yeah. week eventually, but that's yeah, good. That's very good. Yeah. Very good indeed. Mm. Well done. Mm. I think you can both be proud. Yes. Look, uh, if I can just tell you, you can meet uh, Diana and the second of the Doors dozen at the same time next week, and Diana will show you how to make another delicious dish to help you lose those extra pounds. And if you'd like to diet with Diana, you can buy this uh, special diet and exercise package on cassette. It costs uh, five pounds and uh, ninety-nine pence, and you can find out how to get hold of it by ringing now on oh one four oh nine two nine two nine four oh nine two nine two nine. And uh, if any of your friends missed today's news from Diana, don't forget uh, that they can tune in again for the highlights on Monday at 10 past 7. So there you are. If anyone's missed it today, tell them. Watch on Monday at 10 past 7. But meanwhile, from Diana and uh, John, thanks very much. We'll see you soon.